Environmental niche modeling, alternatively known as species distribution modeling, ecological niche modeling, predictive habitat distribution modeling, and climate envelope modeling refers to the process of using computer algorithms to predict the distribution of species in geographic space on the basis of a mathematical representation of their known distribution in environmental space equals realized ecological niche. The environment is in most cases represented by climate data, such as temperature, and precipitation, but other variables such as soil type, water depth, and land cover can also be used. These models allow for interpolating between a limited number of species occurrence and they are used in several research areas in conservation biology, ecology and evolution. The extent to which such modeled data reflect real-world species distributions will depend on a number of factors, including the nature, complexity, and accuracy of the models used and the quality of the available environmental data layers, the availability of sufficient and reliable species distribution data as model input, and the influence of various factors such as barriers to dispersal, geologic history, or biotic interactions, that increase the difference between the realized niche and the fundamental niche. Environmental niche modeling may be considered a part of the discipline of biodiversity informatics. Correlative versus mechanistic models Environmental niche models are correlative models. They relate observed presences of a species to values of environmental variables at those sites. Some models use absences, as well, but the most commonly used models use presence-only data, perhaps together with random background data. Disagreement in the literature exists over whether environmental niche models portray the realized niche, which is determined by biotic and abiotic constraints or the fundamental niche, which is determined by abiotic constraints. In contrast, mechanistic or process-based models assess the bio-physiological aspects of a species to generate the conditions in which the species can ideally persist, based on observations made in controlled field or laboratory studies. As such it aims at modeling the fundamental niche of the species. See for a comparison between mechanistic and correlative models. Niche modeling algorithms Niche modeling algorithms include profile methods, simple statistical techniques that use e.g. environmental distance to known sites such as BIOCLIM, and domain regression e.g. forms of generalized linear models, and machine learning methods such as maximum entropy, Maxent. An incomplete list of algorithms that have been used for niche modeling includes Profile techniques BIOCLIM Domain Ecological niche factor analysis ENFA Mahalanobis distance. Regression-based techniques. Generalized linear model (GLM). Generalized additive model (GAM). Multivariate adaptive regression splines (MARS). Machine learning techniques. Maxent. Artificial Neural Networks and Genetic Algorithm for Rule Set Production GARP. Boosted Regression Trees BRT. Gradient Boosting Machines GBM. Random Forest RF. Support Vector Machines SVM. Furthermore, ensemble models can be created from several model outputs to create a model that captures components of each. Often the mean or median value across several models is used as an ensemble. Similarly, consensus models are models that fall closest to some measure of central tendency of all models. Consensus models can be individual model runs or ensembles of several models. Niche modeling software Spaces is an online environmental niche modeling platform that allows users to design and run dozens of the most prominent algorithms in a high-performance, multi-platform, browser-based environment. Maxent is the most widely used method. Software uses presence-only data and performs well when there are few presence records available. Modeco implements various algorithms. 
Viva GIS has an easy to use and good for educational use implementation of BIOCLIM. The Biodiversity and Climate Change Virtual Laboratory BCCVL, is a one-stop modeling shop that simplifies the process of biodiversity and climate impact modeling. It connects the research community to Australia's national computational infrastructure by integrating a suite of tools in a coherent online environment. Users can access global climate and environmental datasets or upload their own data, perform data analysis across six different experiment types with a suite of 17 different algorithms, and easily visualize, interpret and evaluate the results of the models. Experiments types include, species distribution model, multi-species distribution model, species trait model currently under development, climate change projection, biodiverse analysis and ensemble analysis. Example of BCCVL SDM outputs can be found here. Most niche modeling algorithms are available in the R packages. Dismo, Biomod2, and Mopa. Software developers may want to build on the OpenModeler project. The Collaboratory for Adaptation to Climate Change Adapt.nd.edu has implemented an online version of OpenModeler that allows users to design and run OpenModeler in a high-performance, browser-based environment to allow for multiple parallel experiments without the limitations of local processor power. See also Biogeography Ecosystem model Quantum evolution. References. Further reading. Pearson, R. G. 2007. Species distribution modeling for conservation educators and practitioners. PDF. Synthesis. American Museum of Natural History. 2007. 1 to 50. Ellith J., Lethwick J. R. 2009. Species Distribution Models, Ecological Explanation and Prediction Across Space and Time. Annual Review of Ecology, Evolution, and Systematics, 40-677-697. doi 101146 anareb.ecolsis.110308.120159. Candela L., Castelli D., Coro G., Pagano P., Cinebaldi F. 2013. Species Distribution Modeling in the Cloud. Concurrency and Computation, Practice and Experience. doi.10.1002, CPE.3030. External links Climate Envelope Modeling Working Group – Online Gathering Place for Scientists, Practitioners, Managers, and Developers to Discuss, Support, and Develop Climate Environmental Niche Modeling Tools and Platforms Biobal Ecological Niche Modeling ENM, Online Tool with Workflows to Generate Ecological Niche Models UBrazil OpenBio Species Lab Virtual Research Environment, online working environment to support the production of ecological niche modeling by I, simplifying access to occurrence points and environmental parameters and e, offering a powerful version of OpenModeler benefiting from a distributed computing infrastructure. OpenModeler, open source niche modeling library. LifeMapper, niche modeling project from Kansas University. LifeMapper 2.0 video of presentation by Amy Stewart, Kansas University, at O'Reilly Ware 2.0 Conference 2008 Aquamaps, Global Predictive Maps for Marine Species Ecological Modeling, International Journal on Ecological Modeling and Systems Ecology